When it comes to weddings, everyone wants the perfect day. But unless you have unlimited funds, it's I do, but at what cost? I want elaborate things. Okay, so you want your guests to be absolutely overwhelmed. I awesome. want their jaws to hit the floor and I want to hear it. This is a beautiful I mean, hall. It does look nice. And, uh, no! Three roses in a way. No! Nice. No! And there's so many last minute things and I have to spend so my what time are you here. What about? Relax, we're picking what? apples. Yeah, you and your ideas. See, the person that no! is still out. You want renovation? Yeah, the person that had renovation? Yeah, I want renovation. Okay, you renovation! Oh my god! There's a renovation! Are you crazy? are a hall in an autumnal hue. Weddings are desserts that walk right up to you. Weddings are bells that stick to you like glue. Meet newlyweds Christina and Steve. Getting the wow factor these two wanted for their wedding meant a pow to their budget. Let's follow at a safe distance and see how they made their special day dynamite. My name is Christina and I'm 26 years old. I work as an office manager for a construction company. I met Steve three years ago on a blind date. Some people describe me as intense, but I prefer for passionate. Steve is more easygoing, so it makes us a great match. This is the story of how I fought hard to pull off the biggest and best wedding ever. The wedding day was amazing. Amazing. It was, good. It was really good. So much fun. Oh, Everybody, nice. I, t I think till this day and forever, people will be talking about our wedding. It was so unbelievable. Their wedding may have got people talking, but getting it right had this couple shouting. Let's go back in time and see if their budget stood a fighting chance. I wanted a wedding planner to help me with anything that I may have screwed up or forgotten to remember to do for the day. Because I didn't want to have anything ruined. And her Karina Lemke, with her 12 years of experience as a wedding planner, will she be able to bring this intense bride down a few notches? My role as a wedding planner is to help the couple achieve their dream vision, their perfect day, and to maybe keep them on budget. I am so excited to be here. So tell me about, you know, your vision for this wedding. Well, our wedding's gonna be a fall-themed wedding, so we want there to be a lot of rich colors, colors of the season, the greens, the gold, all those deep colors of the fall. We want wedding, this so. wedding to be the wedding of all weddings in our both of our families. We want people to remember this wedding for the rest of their lives. And generations and generations. So not a small wedding, big wedding in every way, shape, and form. We want to keep it intimate. Even keeping it intimate, it's still gonna be between 250 and 300 people. So how, how do you think you're gonna get that? Have you thought about decor? Is that one of the areas that you're gonna, gonna look into? Decor is actually one of the areas where we're gonna be putting most of our money into. This is flowers so. and linens and lighting and everything that you're looking at, right? right? So it's one person who's gonna just sort of handle all of that? That's right, I want a one-stop shop. Mm -hmm. So in terms of who is actually paying for this wedding, is it you, is it your parents, is it a combination? Well, both of our. Yes, uh, it's well, both, both of us are That's right. For it, I mean. Unfortunately, we will be funding it. So you're yes. funding the entire thing? Yeah, well, the good thing about us funding it is that we don't have to have anybody's noses in our business. Mm. We can do what we want and account to no one right. but ourselves. What about uh, the venue? Have you chosen a venue? We have chosen a venue. Um, it's a venue that actually I worked there when I was younger. Oh, so it's, nice. uh, it's kind of special to me. And the food is great there. Um, the service is great. It is a beautiful hall, but I want extra. I don't want the base. I want just, I, I want elaborate things. Okay, so you want wow factor. You want your guests to be absolutely overwhelmed. I want their jaws to hit the floor and I want to hear it. I consider myself a reasonable bride, but when there's things that I really, really want, I will not take no for an answer. What type of meal will you have at the banquet hall? I think that we're going to stick with the traditional Italian meal because that's what the banquet hall does best and we want the best. Why Italian? <laughs> Why, Why not? Of, uh, Everybody likes bit. Italian food. Are you both Italian? I'm Croatian, but... Um, Is there a way of doing some Croatian food, maybe? <laughs> no, I don't want cabbage in my menu. <laughs> you can, cabbage rolls are fabulous. No. Oh, they're, they're not for a wedding. Should we try cabbage? I love cabbage. Oh, I love, I love cabbage rolls. Not for a wedding menu. Why not? It's beautiful. No. No? Okay. Well, I can get my mom to prepare That's them. a no. What about um, the cake? Because that's sort of in, in, it can be decor and it can also be food. Have you thought about a wedding cake? I want wild things to be happening with our wedding cake. I want to see all kinds of leaves on the cake. 
I, I want the cake to tie in with the theme. Nice. An expensive wedding cake, medium priced wedding cake, or cheap wedding cake? 100 bucks. Steve, you can't even birthday. buy a birthday cake uh, for 100 bucks. Uh, yeah. I'll it'll... make you one for 50. No. No. <laughs> to be quite honest with you, I think uh, the budget's definitely uh, locked in stone. Uh, I don't think I really have uh, much say in terms of the budget. Mind you, I want to have a say, but uh, I'm just whipped. Do you have a wedding dress yet? I know how much we roughly I want to spend, and I know what I have in mind. I want a simple dress. I don't need anything elaborate. Mind you, I don't want to look like a peasant, Ooh. but I just can't justify spending a large chunk of money for a dress that's going to be worn for, what, eight, ten hours? Where are you going to go to a thrift store and buy a wedding dress? Are you hey, that's me? not a bad bad idea. Well, you're not going to be walking down the aisle with me, honey? No, I'm just kidding. Well, you never know what I'll find. What, what about guest favors? Um, we're going to be giving a donation to a charity, which we haven't decided yet. And then we will give our guests a little favor to say that we have given a donation. Okay, so just instead, you're not doing any sort of big expensive bomboniere, it'll just be a token no, gift. No, just a little yeah. So you guys have some great ideas. Um, you know, the fall theme is fabulous, some of the colors are fabulous. I think you have, you know, just a lot of energy and excitement going into this. And you want a wow factor wedding, you want your guests to come in and have a night that they will never forget. Oh, yes. Okay, so do you have a budget? You bet. Remember, it's I do, but at what cost? Okay. Coming up. This is a beautiful hall. This it is, is a I beautiful mean, hall. It does look nice. And, uh, no. Three roses and no. Nice no. Room. Okay, well, relax. I wanted uh, the 25 foot train because it made me feel like a princess. The princess that I am. When it comes to your wedding, you may find yourself wanting more and more and more. I want extra. I don't want the base. I want just, I, I want elaborate things. Okay, so you want wow factor. You want your guests to be absolutely overwhelmed. I the want second. their jaws to hit the floor and I want to hear it. And at the end of the show, we'll find out if this couple heard jaws drop or just saw the last of their savings. I found these two decorators at my friend's wedding, and I knew that we had to have them for our wedding. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. wow. Nice. That looks really amazing. Nice. Oh, looks really nice. wow. That is so nice. I love those pumpkins very, very and the nice. leaves. Look at all these colors. Very these are exactly the colors I wanted. But will they be exactly the price you want to pay? When you came into the shop, you basically gave us two options to go with. So this is something that we went with was a little wow. bit more gardeny. And then obviously that right there is your classical compact look that you're going after. This is more your look, I it think. It has the color. See, I wanted like the reds, the greens. Yes, exactly. And we didn't want to just put something up there and not have something in the base. So, you know, having the pumpkins in there is also going to really bring in the theme. You said that you wanted it big and over the top. This is pretty big and pretty over the top and probably really, really expensive. What is that worth anyway, guys? That one there is a $200 piece. This one here is 300 <laughs> I'm seeing shock and awe on, um, on the groom's face, and I'm seeing, oh, wow. yeah, that's okay, on the bride's face. Something tells me these two faces are going to go head to head. That's a lot of dough. Our guests will be blown away by that centerpiece. And so will your budget. This one just yeah. speaks to me. Yes. Yeah. 300 bucks a centerpiece, are you kidding me? This is a once in a lifetime event. You just have anything half the size. <laughs> <laughs> that's not what I want. She wants that wow factor, you know, like I that I want people bang. to walk exactly. in here and I want their mouths to drop. Which they will. That's Relax for now. now. They mean. created a whole vision for us, so let's see what they have to tell us. Come on. I should have brought my personal banker in. <laughs> and, uh, if we knew this was going to be the case, I mean. All right. Let's okay, follow us this way and we'll show you our concept. What I was thinking is we should do panels of all chocolate brown fabric. So covering the, gl the covering glass. Covering the glass, exactly. Okay. So it's going to be all chocolate brown, chocolate brown, chocolate brown. Um, the concept that we came out with for uh, your head table was actually going to be a big, huge tree. 
in the center. There's, There's going to be table. hanging leaves and hanging candles and hanging orchids and all that beading. Leaves coming down. With the groom pretty the well hanging himself from it when <laughs> really? he has to Tell paint. me about it. <laughs> oh, no, no. It's just going to be stunning. It's, I, I like that idea with the grapevines. Yeah. I want to see the oranges, the reds. I want this place to look like a grand affair. Looks like Steve would rather have made a grand exit. So how much does all this cost? Okay, well, you're looking at anywhere from twenty to twenty-five thousand. Not bad. To have your look. What do you your think? Your concept. Um, <laughs> you're crazy. <laughs> do a lot of money with it. Yeah, it's a car. Well, it's there a car. you go. Absolutely. Yeah. Look out, Steve. Just look out and just picture it. Yeah, yeah it looks nice. Yeah, it looks nice. Okay. If you want this vision and you're willing to pay for it, absolutely. But I think you both have to be on the same page. And this is a beautiful hall. It's it a is. beautiful I mean, hall. It does look nice. I mean, we don't really I know have it to is like... a beautiful hall. You did nothing. It's my wedding day. I want them to feel almost like they're outside. It's the fall. It's such a beautiful season. Happy. These are stunning. They are absolutely, completely, and utterly stunning. I'm not right. saying a word against them. I am just saying that in terms of a wedding budget, most people spend, what, 10% of their budget, 15% of their budget on decor. This is a huge. But huge there's budget. also people that spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on their decor, also. That's true. Saying, there's people who uh, budget a wedding for $25,000, which. I understand that, but so Steve, we've been fortunate our, in our life that we can spend a little bit more on certain things. I'm not saying that I want to go all out. You mean you could spend more? This is decor. This is what's going to set the ambiance for the entire evening. Well, you're right, but we are. Just for like 50 bucks. You just could no, stir something up for 50, No, I don't want. Bucks. That's so corny. What do you mean, corny, Christina? When, like... when you go to the... Right, flower shop, you can't even buy a bouquet of roses for $50. This is my wedding. We buy three flowers and uh, no. three roses and a wedding. No, no, nice no. Okay, well, relax. <laughs> when I was shopping for my dress, I came across somebody who sold sample dresses because I wanted to save a little bit of money. I couldn't justify spending save a money. huge amount. Yes, on the dress. This is basically the gowns that I have. Do you have a style that you're looking for? Sure, I'm pretty open to everything. I'm quite a simple person, so I'm looking for something a little on the simpler side. Ivory or white? Um, ivory. These gowns are all off the rack. So what you see here is what you get. I you like this bustle. one. But it doesn't look like that'll fit me. Mm. What size do you generally take in regular clothing? Eight or ten. Okay, so this is a size six. So this would probably Definitely be a little not. small. Mom, do you have any opinion? Any dresses you I see that you'd you like? like? Quite nice. Nice prices too. Yeah. What about this one? I think this is beautiful. Look at the way it. Uh, That's pretty. Try it on. Okay, is well, this her size? Is that her size? Uh, this, I believe, is a size 10, which should be fine. Right. Okay, sure. You try I'll try it on. Okay. Yeah. Is there another okay. one that kind of sticks out at um, you? This one's kind of nice also. Look at that. Look at all that beading there at the yeah. front. Yeah, and this one is very it's nice, too. It's a two-piece, wow. and it's a corseted back. Gold nice. and pearl detailing. Oh my gosh. With that this one's one. really nice. Oh, Definitely gonna try sweet. this one on. Yeah. So, so why don't we. No flaws. No. They're directly from the manufacturer. They are brand new. I worked out a nice deal with the manufacturer. Oh my God, so how can, I'm how can extending those savings onto the brides. My goodness, you can't even get a. My dress is <laughs> double the price. <laughs> now we know where Christina gets her expensive taste. Let's get started with these three. Okay, perfect. Okay. And. Uh, We'll get you changed up so your mom can see. You ready to see her? Yes. What do you think? I like wow, this one. It looks totally it's different. Oh, my goodness. Cute. Very nice. Oh, look at all that detailing. Oh, beautiful. See oh, that? my goodness. I How still, does it feel comfortable? I just don't know about these straps. How much is this dress? This dress is actually $200. Wow. It retails for $2,000. Oh my gosh. For that price, who cares about straps? I, this is definitely a beautiful dress, but I don't know if it is the one, so. I do look like a princess in this one, though. Oh, boy. <laughs> you are a princess, Chris. <laughs> okay, time to try the other one. Yep. This one is gorgeous. You like it? Oh my gorgeous. god. Gorgeous. Oh my goodness, Chris. That is beautiful. Isn't it beautiful? Oh my god. Christina, we have tears. How do you feel in it? I love it. It's gorgeous. It, uh, it fits perfect. I feel comfortable. Feel I'm ready comfortable to dance. <laughs> I think this is the one. That is 
How much is this one? Four hundred dollars. Oh, that's wow. unbelievable. Regular retail is thirty eight hundred. Unbelievable. I don't think I want to take this off. Oh, it's great. very comfortable. Oh, that's Do you so want great. to take a seat and just feel? Oh, oh mom. <laughs> Mom's <laughs> taking a seat. <laughs> She needs to sit down. I think she's yeah. more excited. You can breathe. You're going to be OK. After you have a full meal, you're going to oh, yeah. be able to sit. Oh, definitely. Okay. So now, dress me up. Yes. Get okay. me ready. Bring on the bling. That's nice. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Like $100, Chris. Oh, my gosh. These birds are amazing. I know. Oh. oh. I'm all ready. Wow. Okay. So how much is the veil? The veil is 20. Wow. And oh, my God. The tiara is 100. However, if you purchase them as a pair, I can give them both to you for 100 even. You're happy? I'm like happy. It? And I'm definitely so, happy that at least Sina, I saved a lot of money. If you're happy, I'm happy. Else. And it looks gorgeous. I love it. Look beautiful. Just like everything else for the wedding, the cake had to be equally beautiful. I wanted it big and jaw-dropping, just like everything else. What's your vision of your dream cake? I want a high cake, something big. I want every person to be able to have a piece of cake. Okay. Also, I want a chocolate brown cake. I want five or six tiers. I want leaves on it. I want acorns. I want anything to think of with the fall. Okay, so. Also, pumpkins, I want that spread all around the cake. I don't want people to feel like they're going to a fair. I want yep. them to feel when they see that cake, it's elegant with the rest of the decor. This is also, it's going on chocolate brown linens, right? Yes. Are you at all concerned that it's a lot of dark? No. It also might look a little gimmicky. Why? Cho why? Because chocolate and orange, but it's going to look Halloween-y. Wait a minute. Hello, Woody. Karina, you're on my team. I'm on your team, but I want She's everything to be beautiful. She's on everybody's team. It is going to be beautiful. I mean, do you want something that looks elegant, sophisticated, beautiful, or do you, yes. you want kitschy? Kitschy. No, I want something elegant. We're not ganging up on you. This is yeah. your cake. So I can't have any chocolate brown, even though my colors are chocolate brown for this wedding. Well, you've got chocolate brown linens. What about doing a cake that is in different sort of orangey shades and gold shades and just using the chocolate as accent? Karina's OK, right. so carrying on. OK. So I don't want a boring wedding cake. I need five or six tiers, none Christina. less. Can I ask you how many? Yeah, how many guests are you having? Between 250 and 300. So I want everybody to have a piece. OK, but not everybody actually eats cake. I want it large. I want people's jaws to drop when they see the cake, just like the rest of the hall. Well, your jaw may drop when you see the bill. Uh, what if we do most of the cake real and just have a few artificial tiers? Now, all the icing on the I'll outside is going to be sure. real. Is it cheaper? Like, is it much cheaper? It's than... cheaper. Perfect. And who cares if it's cheaper? Well, Christine, I know, but like, who needs like a six-tier cake? cake? I mean, it has to be big. You know, we have a sweet table. It's not, I mean, we don't need a... And you're against me, too, now. Well, I'm not against you, Christine. I'm just, uh, just um, stating my uh, OK, fine. I'm going to suggest you go with a five-tier instead of a six. A five-tier is still substantial. OK. Well, and it's not like you're that having a perfect. wedding of Absolutely 600 sure. people. Okay, five tiers, a huge five tiers cake. big enough. Even four. All, all except five okay. tiers. I think that's just like way too big. <clears throat> well, why don't we go with like maybe artificial, artificial, couple artificial uh, tiers, tears. What do you call them? Tears. 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 And like the tears make... that you're going to shed when you pay for all of <laughs> well, this. Well, that's the thing. I'm going <laughs> to shed a couple of tears. What is that in comparison to like the real one and a fake one? Would we save like a great deal of money on it? Or? You're gonna save a, a, a couple hundred dollars. There you go, Chris. That's perfect. And what should we can, it can still be But I don't want big. people to be hungry. I want this cake to be something that no one's ever seen before. That we can do. But there's no, there's no need to have extra cake. It's a waste. Oh. Honestly, I'm just giving you my professional opinion. You're not gonna need that much cake. Um, then we've got basically real, fake, real, fake, real. It's nice, but what does that cost? The cost will be dun, 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 eight fifty, and that includes delivery. <gasps> For a cake. cake. Look at all the detailing. I just think that's crazy. That's the price. That's the. That's going fine. Rate. I mean. Uh, I, I want to ensure that this cake oh. is done the way we want it. Crazy. And it will be. Okay. I promise. Do whatever you want.
At the end of the day, the cake was totally worth it. It was beautiful. It was nice. Coming up, the weather's crap. This is not the way I want to spend my day. Cheer up, Christina. It's your, this was all you and your ideas. You know, I went on my knees and I said, sweetheart, would you marry me? But what I said was I was so nervous, I was shaking. And I said, sweetheart, would you be my husband? <laughs> and she said to me, no, I won't be your husband. I'll be your wife. When going through the negotiations of your wedding, remember, always use the magic word to help you get what you want. This is my wedding. Well, we buy three flowers and uh, no. three roses. And no. Nice no. <laughs> and later on, we'll let you know if saying no made a negative impression on the budget. Karina came up with the bright idea to add a little bit extra wow to our wedding, and uh, she came up with a walking dessert table. Wow, walking dessert table. So tell me, what's the ambiance of your wedding, et cetera? It's a fall-themed wedding, mm -hmm. but I don't mean like a farm wedding. Why not? Like bells of hay and straw? No, there will be leaves, things like that, but I see it like an enchanted forest. Um, she wants a wedding that her guests won't forget, so she wants to show them gimmicks, tricks, fun things that will make the That's experience right. a little bit more interactive, which is why we came. I've chosen this green for you. OK, uh, one thing, I don't like this green, and I don't even like the fabric. Can the table be bigger? The table shouldn't be so big that it can't fit through crowds. If you don't like this green tablecloth, what we can do is drape it in a brown velvet and then drape the girl in a brown velvet so, and accent it with branches and leaves and stuff. What sort of a costume do you want to see the girl in? The way I see it is gold, different colors of leaves just, you know, on parts of the body that have to be covered. Um, something really elegant for the hair, maybe, um, I don't know, something, something fiery red, perhaps. Watch out, this bride is seeing red. What sort of budget are we working with? Um, you know what, I don't even know how much these things, I don't even know the price range. So. Why don't you tell us what it runs? Well, basically our starting price uh, starts at around $750. Okay, now how many hours is that? It's around three hours because okay. the girl has four hours and one of the hours is for her to get dressed and make sure she looks pretty and glam and not to outdo so you by any means. Three. Oh, no, she won't be. Don't worry. Are you sure? It's hard to compete with someone surrounded by desserts. Oh, you have. Wow. Hello. Oh, that is so cool. So what basically take it would a, do... Take a step back and take a look at it is her skirt could come up, so it looks like she, the tablecloth is actually a part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? I can see yeah. this. I really, I, I can see it. It looks really good. She's supposed really to look like the stem of the tree. And I think just putting the branches, just a little bit of accent as, like, oh, growing, nice. growing over her. And this won't poke anybody. <laughs> we'll create it that it comes over here. Oh, yeah, love it. So we'll actually create like leaves, like the whole thing with her hair, and we'll make a headpiece. You have to understand, this is really the basic stages that we're doing here. It's not the real mm -hmm. overall perspective of what's going to be. How does she move around? She know how to play it by Would you mind just moving around? It's on wheels, and it's got handles. Oh, that is too cool. And she, it's not like a, a Grand Prix that she'll be running around the room. I guess that depends on how hungry your guests are. That looks so cool. This is much more in line with what you had in mind, right? Definitely. Yeah. Do you need to talk about it with Steve? Um, Alex? no, I think it's already been discussed. Discussed or decided? Decided. Decided. And I think Steve will be very excited too. When he gets Steve's the bill. Not, when... he's not worth it. That was, um... Wow, like who the hell has a walking dessert table at their wedding? No one, exactly. Who does? Nobody. That's why we needed it at our wedding. And we needed her dressed up like she was. For our guest favors, we decided to give a donation, but we wanted to attach something to a tag small. and give it to our guests to let them know what we had given. Yeah, something small. Christina, look. You know what I mean? We could add, well, you know what I mean? Just like a thank you, a donation, whatever, add it to it, and away we go. Simple. No, we get a I couple wanted of to these. be different. I want it to be something very unique, something that people haven't seen before at weddings. Look, even these, Christine, these are amazing. Or this, look, these are great. Mm, no, I don't like, like those. Look, 99 cents. Wow. Wow, Steve, look at these. 
Tell oh, me. Yeah, they're nice. Those aren't amazing. Very nice, very nice. And candy apples, that's perfect for the fall. Uh, Christy, these are more than 99 cents a piece, okay? Look at all the other different flavors they have. Oh, look at these ones with the gummies. Yeah, they're nice. Hi, would you like to try a sample of our caramel apples? This one is the score. Oh, wow. Toffee bits, caramel apple, and this one awesome. is the New York cheesecake. Oh, I will try the New you. York cheesecake. What are the prices on these, anyway? The uh, prices range from $3.50 to $11.99. $3.50, oh, I found the perfect ones. Look at those. They're sprinkled with fall leaves. Um, what are the prices on these? That's perfect. Those ones are $4.50. $4.50, that's not bad. God, you're gonna give me a nervous breakdown, Christina. Are you kidding me? We have like almost 300 guests. I'm not gonna settle. I definitely don't want truffles. I want something different, and I think we found something very different. Have you lost all sense? Have you lost all sense? But I want. And the next thing you know, there's like 1,200 bucks. And but I want candy apples, Steve. I mean, if you want candy apples, we'll make them. But they're never gonna come out the way they're done here. I don't know. I'm speechless. Stay that way. You want a candy apples? So I brought you candy apple picking. And what do you want? No, apple picking. Christina, you wanted that candy apples. That was only apples. the first oh. step in making candy apples. It was fun. I'm you wanted fun. to go because you wanted to save money. I wanted to do it right the first time. I don't understand why we have to come here and do this. The weather's crap. This is not the way I want to spend my day. We could have just bought the candy apples from the store. I have other things to do, you know? There's so many last minute things, and I have to spend so my what time are you here. What about? Relax, we're picking what? apples. Well, what do you want? Don't you regret your decision? Well, this is on. such a crappy I'm day. We're apples. all wet, okay? Like do you not expect me to be upset? Do you really think in the end we're going to save any sort of money? Well, you wanted apples, you're going to get apples. Yeah, but not this way. I wanted to buy them from the store. I'm telling you, we're gonna make. No! Throw things at me. Cheer up, Christina. It's your. This was all your idea. You and your ideas. Yeah, Christina, relax. Everything's you and your lame great. ideas. What do you mean? You wanted apples? We're gonna get yeah, apples. Yeah, I wanted candy apples, but I wanted to buy them at the store like normal people, not make them myself. Let's fill it up. <laughs> 250 guests. Yeah, exactly. How many apples do we need? Pick the smaller apples because uh, they're Why? 95 cents a pound. <laughs> You know what I mean? Those are way too big. Well, you should have told me that before. This bag is not even going to be enough for nice. two tables. Mike, so you up. better keep on picking. You know what, Christina? Fine, OK? Let's go. We'll buy the apples. Who cares? Let's go, guys. You win, Christina. In the end, I won the candy apple battle. Yeah, you did. And uh, now we got... I got my way, and they were done properly, which is how they would have been done originally. And now I'm eating an apple a day for the next six months. Christina. It just so happens that my mother makes beautiful apple strudel, okay? Coming up. No! Oh. You want renovation? Yeah, I want renovation. Yeah, I want renovation. I'll give you renovation! Oh my god! I did not have a chance to say I want this for my wedding or that for my wedding. I honestly don't recall asking for anything. And the more I think about it, I think I honestly I just showed up. When it comes to planning a wedding, it's best to be open to all ideas. You know, relax. Everything's you and your okay. lame ideas. What do you mean? You wanted apples? We're going to get yeah, apples Yeah, I wanted candy apples, but I wanted to buy them at the store like normal people. And at the end of the show, we'll let you know if one bad apple spoiled the whole bunch. Leading up to the wedding, Karina thought that we should sit down and maybe just go over a few numbers to see where we were headed with our budget. I had the feeling that we were probably a little bit over budget. Yeah, really? Wow. A little. This is the point in the wedding planning process where I usually like to get together with the couple just before their wedding, just to go over everything, uh, make sure that we're all on the same page with what's going on. Yeah, so I'm hoping that you're still good excited after this meeting. OK, don't scare us. <laughs> Do you know how close we are to your actual budget? I'd say we're very close. Very close, like very close under, or very close over. I think we're all uh, we're pretty good. I mean, in terms of our budget, I, mean, I would we're, agree. We're, we're, I think we're we're. I there don't think we're way over. No, not at all. Why are you giving me that look? What the old stink eye? <laughs> <laughs> are we way over? But how over, Karina? Um, somewhere ten to twenty percent over budget. So no, see, that can't you. be right. I told you. You don't want to listen. I told no. you. Candy apples. You want candy apples. You want. A walking table, like, shit, are you kidding me? Of course it's gonna be over budget. I told you I wanted a wedding that was gonna top all weddings. This is going to be that wedding. Oh, well, sure, Christina, but it comes at a price. I mean, are I you know, kidding me? I know, but 
yeah. six tier but cake. They were all areas well, that, what do you think? What is this for free? But they all attribute to, to the ambiance. And they all contribute to your debt. So we could cut one of those areas? Does that right. no? I mean there's nothing we could do. Candy now, apples? No. Karina, we could do you know cake. what? Cake. No. Walking dessert table? Of course not. Polaroid guest book? No. There's nothing we do about the, it now, Karina. You know what? Leaves? Whatever it is, it is, Christina. No, the leaves do? have to be. It will, really, money it we're will work out well, but you are spending a lot of money. So as long as we're clear on the budget and you're okay with that. Well, there's and nothing else we could do about it, Karina. You, you know what I mean? And to make sure that your day is great? Well, we just it's hope great about it goes well, and that's it. You know what I mean? Which it will. Of course it will. Okay, so if that's all it is, then that's all it is. That's we're all on the same page. We're all good. Cheers. Cheers. a wonderful wedding. I was not concerned at all about being over budget. Um, I mean, it would have been nice to stick within our budget, but at that point, I knew that it was too late, and I knew that the wedding was going to be kick-ass. I thought it was. You know, leading up to the wedding, I was under a lot of stress. stress. There's so many oh. last-minute things to do. What are you doing? I'm painting the bathroom. Surprise. We're doing this today? Of course. Was that in the agenda? Christina, we gotta paint this bathroom. See? My brother's coming, he's gonna change his vanity, and I wanna get this. There's show plenty on the of road. other things to do today. Well, come I on, have Christina. to go out. I have to do stuff for our wedding. Like what? Everything's done already. No, it's not. There's so many things. Whatever. Christina, pass me the screwdriver. Why do, why do we have to do this? <laughs> because uh, we're gonna save some money on our painting here. It's gonna take us forever. The amount of time that it's gonna take us to do this, we can hire somebody, and in a day, it's Done. Christina, do you understand how much money we spent on this wedding so far? Are you kidding me? I mean, uh, we're gonna be done like. Yeah, how many times are you gonna get married in your life? How well, many times? Based on how this is going, maybe one more time. We have so many things to do. This is not how I plan to spend my day. Well, what do you want me to do, Christina? I want you to hire somebody and get this done properly. Christina, I'm not spending any more money, okay? The wedding has to be grand. I don't care what you say. A thousand here, a thousand there. Well, Christina, we can't afford it. Are you kidding me? I've been trying to do the best I can. You wanted apples. We go to the orchard to save some money. You didn't like the apples. You got your apples. I want to save some money. And yes, your wedding's going to be grand. Did he say your wedding? Christina, move. Give me over here. Here, you know what you need to do? I don't want to do anything. Hang on. No, you know I don't want to do? do anything. Christina, please, just paint this place. I Excuse don't want to do anything. Christina, stop your whining, okay? No. This is supposed to be fun. We're renovating our this house is not together. Fun. Christina, sure it's fun. No, Look, you're it's doing not. a great job. You missed a spot. Right up there. Careful, Steve. Relax, Christina. What's your problem? That's not the way it's done. You gotta put well, it on. Well, do it the way I want to do it. Oh, Christina, put some more uh, paint on the brush. Or what I No! Would you, like, relax? You're driving I, me crazy over I here. I don't want to do this. Christina, pass me that hammer. Steve! Pass me that no, hammer. No, it doesn't have to be changed. Christina, pass me that no. hammer. No! Oh. You want renovation? Yeah, pass me the hammer. Renovation? Yeah, I want renovation. I'll carry a renovation! Oh, my God. That's your renovation. Are you crazy? Oh, my God. What? Yeah. What? I, okay, I understand. I lost my temper a little. No. You think? Well, that's what happens when you waste my time. Don't waste your time. The couple days leading up to the wedding was just crazy. We were running around like mad people. We had to tag our favors still. We had to make sure that it wasn't going to rain, so we had a hell of a lot of brooms to put in trees. Did she just say brooms and trees? OK, Christina, this is, like, insane. It is. Don't worry. Just listen to what I'm saying. Uh, I'm telling you, it's not going to rain. In my years as a wedding planner, I have heard superstitions like like insane amounts of superstitious stuff. But I have never, ever heard brooms in trees to stop the rain. If it were that easy, they wouldn't be able to keep a broom in a store. Every bride in the city would have a broom in a tree. Do we have to put all the brooms in this tree? As many as we can. We have four here, yeah. I mean, we'll see what the weather's gonna turn out to be like, but we may need more later on. Here's the deal. I'm gonna go up into this tree, okay. and I'm gonna put as many brooms as, as you want into Please this do. tree. It can't rain on my wedding. And you are going to get a rain plan. I don't need a rain plan. I've already told you a number of times. Here. Yeah, just get it in there as best you can. Oh, you're kidding. We don't want any broom-related injuries. Christina, I want to believe you. Like, I really want to believe you. But they're just brooms. Thanks, Karina. I'm telling you, trust me on this one, you're going to be a happy camper. 
Okay. With the weather under control, Christina was on a mission to see her venue. I was not going to wait until the day of the wedding to see what my venue looked like. I needed to go the night before and do a check-in and make sure that everything was up to par. Okay, you should not even no, be here. No, I at need this to make point. sure everything's okay, darling. No, we will make sure. I want to make sure. We will make sure. Well, this okay. is a priority for me right now. Christina, know, you don't hired worry. professionals. Everything's okay. I don't have to sleep tonight. She has a. You, you know. have Which a coordinator. Price? You know, don't we're worry. here. We're Look, taking care of it. So her. okay, right. let's just let's carry on. Yes. Can they put like okay. leaves or other stuff on here? Like, what are they putting on here? They could put leaves. I could put leaves. Pause with those leaves. Those gotta go too. Yeah, yeah. Those are going. We have to oh. move them tonight. Oh, yeah. Can we have fabric to cover them? No, but you need to finish this haul. It's called Price of Beauty. Okay, where are we carrying careful, it to? Careful, careful. I don't know, but I've got the heaviest part. Oh, Do you want to put it in the bridal suite? No. Yeah, where's the bridal suite? And anywhere that no. it's like out of What about oh, coat no. check? In the coat, coat check, check. In the coat check. With the sculptures hidden in the coat check and time ticking, it seemed like the boys were a no. No mood for any more of Christina's last minute changes. You gotta go into your <laughs> leave. Oh, there we go. Look, you're ruining my haul. I wanted to know what was going on. You know me. I'm always the type of person I need to be in the know. Yeah. And when I showed up, I guess they weren't too happy about it. Coming up. We don't need a backup plan. I'm telling you for the last time, I don't need you to ask me again. The budget was extremely limited, and so it wasn't really a question of deciding uh, who was going to pay. It was a question of, can we afford this? If so, we did, and if not, no. When considering the cost of your wedding, remember sometimes an extra thousand dollars is neither here nor there. Spending twenty thousand dollars on our decors, a thousand here, a thousand there. Well, Christina, we can't afford it. Are you kidding me? And at the end of the show, we'll show you how grand the wedding was and how many thousands it cost. Uh, I won't lie, the morning was very nerve-wracking, but we had worked so hard up until that point That's right. that we weren't going to let anything ruin and that day. Yeah, it was nice. Hey, Karina. We don't need a backup plan. I'm telling you for the last time, I don't need you to ask me again. Yeah, no backup plan. It's not going to rain, don't worry. Yeah, we checked the brooms. They're still in the trees, don't worry. Okay. Have a good morning. Bye. Rain. It's not going to rain. What is she talking about? I guess the brooms and the trees did the trick, and you thought she was crazy. My morning went well. It was really nice. I had um, my best man there, my, uh, my brother-in-law. Those guys were there. Uh, they were sort of uh, cheering me on. <laughs> but, uh, they were dragging you out? Yeah, but um, yeah, they gave me some pretty good support there, so it was pretty nice. Well, could you fix me up there? Oh, awesome. Dude, I'm going absolutely crazy, man. Crack is a little nuts. Congratulations. Thank you, man. Thank, Thank you, you very much, man. Very well. You said it. Thanks, brother. Here we go. I'm going nuts. I can't believe those days over, dude. I'm like stressed yeah. to the. Like, totally stressed out, man. But, dude, I'm taking any bets, eh? On what? My emotionals? <laughs> I'm just going to cry? He's going to cry. Yeah, that was a tear. I wasn't Actually, crying. Yeah, uh, let me bring some napkins with me. Yeah. Maybe you'll need them. Tears or no tears, nothing was going to stop this couple from having the perfect day. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh. You look gorgeous. Thanks. No crying. Stop. Earlier that morning, I received a call from my cousins in Italy who I haven't seen for at least 15 years. Wow. And I didn't expect that call, and it was just beautiful. And I knew that they were with me there in my heart. Yeah, I did. Oh, baby. Grazie, Ida. Si. Grazie. Si, lo so. Speriamo che un giorno ti possiamo vederti. E dice ciao a Roberto. While Christina teared up, Karina was at the hall overseeing the setup. Flowers look gorgeous. Thank you. My only minor issue yeah. is I have a little, and, and you may have a different idea about this. Um, I love the flower at every place setting, mm -hmm. but I like them like this. Why? So you Why? don't see the stem. Because I don't like to see the stem. I like it better out. <laughs> Why? Why? It just looks it more beautiful. It just looks more natural. Yeah, like and... No, you don't like it? I think it just looks weird to the side. No? Yeah, I don't like that either. 
this, I, I find that this looks better if they're doing any table shots, because you, you get the effect of the flower, and I personally find the stem is a bit distracting, but that's just me. Like, I think it's just sitting there naked. Okay. You okay with that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, tuck. While some are busy tucking in roses, the boys are tucking themselves into a limo. Yeah, I'm nervous. I'm uh, crazy. Chris, can you put on some beats or something? Okay, so you have the radio right in the back. You control oh, we have one. Oh, awesome. Right. Perfect. Okay, Let's do this, boys. Right. Hey, we gonna do this? We're gonna do this, Steve. You gonna do this? I'm gonna do it. Do this? Do this? Do it. Right, buddy. After a pep talk from his boys, it was off to the church. I'm not really much of an emotional person, but uh, I guess when I seen Christina at the church at the back there, um, she gave me that little wave, uh, sort of uh, touched me a little bit, but uh, actually I was really excited. Um, I felt really... As was I. Walking down that aisle, I just wanted to run down the aisle because uh, I was like, let's just get this show on the road. Now we're going to cry. Steve and Christina, you have come together in this church so that the Lord may seal and strengthen your love. Join your right hands and declare your consent before God and his church. I, Steve, take you, Christina, to be my wife. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. <laughs> that was well spent. All the days of my life. I, Christina, take you, Steve, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Yes. were pretty, but I got pink in mine, so when I opened up the box, I was not very pleased, but I learned to live with it. Nah, didn't matter after I got going. When it comes to your wedding day, you can always count on touching support from a few of your best men. Okay, Let's do this, boys. Right. Hey, we gonna That's do this? Right. We're gonna do this, Steve. Gonna you gonna do this? this? I'm gonna do it. All right, buddy. And soon, we'll let you know what happened with Stephen's cold feet and his cold, hard cash. When we walked in that hall, I felt like I had walked into an enchanted forest. Oh, my gosh. Wow. I love it. It's more beautiful than I thought. Oh, it's so... Oh, my, oh my God, look at this. Oh, my God, look at this. This is your perfect taste. It's so perfect, Izzy. Oh, my God, look at these acorns that she did. Johnny should be here. Yeah, he really does need to be here. Definitely yes. the, the money, that's for sure. Oh. Beautiful. Like, there you go. Now do you hear how much you paid for your leaves? Actually, really, tell me about look it. It's nice. There you go. It's definitely worth it. Oh, wow. The big one there the middle. you go. I'm, I'm wow. glad that's that you take that's it. That's a complete tree. Holy shit. Yeah. Oh, you guys, thank oh you God. so much. You're welcome. I love it. With the venue approved and everyone finally seated, it was time for Steve to lose his cool. The correct pronunciation of your last name is Hassanic, right? Hassanak. 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 Yeah. Would you like to say Hassanak? Call me whatever you want at this point. I said, call me whatever. Can you tell our videographer to turn those bright lights off? Okay, Christina, wait, maybe he's a little for the entrance, just for the entrance. Christina, it's for the entrance, okay? I just That's don't okay, want to ruin the beautiful. Okay. Okay. okay, no, no, Christina, it's for the entrance. How else are you going to see? Like, you, you need to have it. You need to have it for the camera. Okay, sorry, all right. I was just excited, and I knew that we were going to have a great night, and everybody was already in such a good mood, which was set by all these elements that we had in our wedding. An Italian feast was served. The walking dessert table was a hit, and a fabulous time was had by all. Tonight was the best night of my life. The best night of my life also. We had a great time. It and was it was worth every penny spent. Every penny well spent. I love you. I love you too, baby. <laughs> But will you love the bill? The original budget we handed to Karina was $60,000. I can't get over what a great deal I got on my dress, and it was beautiful. My dress with all the accessories came to $700. Uh, the walk walking dessert table um, for $750 worth, uh, was it worth it? It was. Um, it was nice. I mean, the girl looked nice. The wedding cake, although there was a lot left over, it cost us $850, but it looked magnificent. 900 bucks for candy apples? Uh, I don't know. 
It's definitely not worth it. Oh my God, 900 bucks. Karina was a lot of fun to work with. It was good to have somebody on my side. She cost us $2,000 for her services. Well worth every penny. $25,000 on the decor, wow. Uh, it was a lot of money, uh, definitely way over uh, uh, out of my budget anyway, but I guess uh, anyhow, Christina wanted it, we got it done, it looked beautiful. Uh, yeah, it was expensive. The venue, including food and alcohol, was $32,315. The food was great, everybody said that they enjoyed the menu, and the service was excellent, we have no complaints. Uh, the mis miscellaneous items such as the um, Polaroid camera, the film, the donations to the charity, plus the DJ uh, came up to $15,600. Uh, it was definitely all well worth it, for sure. It was, uh, it was great. What we actually spent on the wedding was $76,115. Which uh, made us go over our budget by $16,115. Thanks to that good uh, decor. I don't want to hear it. It was beautiful, was it not? Yeah, $25,000. <laughs> wow, it's crazy. Well, it was worth every penny. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was, baby. It was. The couple has had their dance, the guests have partied, and the pictures have been taken. The only question left is, were the guests' jaws the only thing that dropped? If I could change, uh... You might wear the right socks next time. Yeah, I wore my uh, sports socks with my tuxedo. <laughs> there was nothing that we couldn't afford other than, um... Everything. <laughs> <laughs> Mark.